lying in the hot sun today, watching the clouds run away. The sky was a petrifying blue. I think that's the chord. This video is not about playing guitar. It's about not having talent. I wanted to talk about that because there's a lot of people who are trying to learn something, whether it be mathematics, physics, musical instrument, whatever it is, and they feel that they lack talent. There was a comment I received recently from one of the subscribers here. I'll call her out because she has left a lot of really good comments here on the channel. Her name is Annie. And she's recommended some really good books for beginners on math. For example, uh, Blitzer's College Algebra and Blitzer's Intermediate Algebra, uh, great books for learning mathematics. And her comment was about drawing straight lines. She had a very long comment, but one part of it really stuck out. She said she was always shocked when people don't have the ability to draw a straight line. And I read that comment, I thought, oh, I've taught a lot of math classes. I've had to draw a lot of straight lines on the board. And let me tell you, every time I draw a straight line on the board, it is a struggle because I don't have that, that natural talent. But I still try. You know, I have tons of videos on the internet of me graphing lines and, and graphing functions. If you've seen some of my graphs, you know that my graphing skills are poor. I have tons of graphing videos, hundreds probably, where I graph trig functions, polynomial functions, rational functions, and my graphs aren't the best. I always make a comment about how, you know, just make sure you identify the key points. You know, roughly where is the max, where is the min, if you have those tools, the intercepts, etc. The point is that just because you don't have talent in something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And I think that is especially true for something like mathematics. You know, if you're watching this video and you're feeling like you, you don't have talent, if you genuinely enjoy math, then I think you should keep doing it, even if you're in a class and you're not doing well. And, and that's something that, you know, I hear a lot and I've seen a lot. I've had a lot of students who are in math classes, maybe with me or with another teacher, and I'll talk to them in my office hours or after class, and they'll say, oh, I really love math. I really, I'm, I'm genuinely interested in math, but I, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well in my classes, but I love math. And I always feel bad. And I say, well, just keep doing math. And I think a lot of times, eventually these students, they, they do get better. They do get better. A lot of times, the time is not right. You know, the time is not right. Maybe they have things going on in their lives. Maybe they have too much going on. I, I got an email the other day from a, a student who she's working, she has a family, and she's taking a bunch of classes, and she's trying to do all of it at once. Um, she's, she's doing at least one math problem every single day. I mean, she's doing everything right, but the time is just not right because she just has too much going on. She needs to cut back. So if you're in that situation where you feel like you don't have talent, you, you might have natural talent, you might just be too busy. And I, and I think you should pursue things you like. You know, I, I, I'm terrible at playing guitar, you heard that short clip. I don't know if you know the song. If you do, leave a comment. I bet no one knows the song. It's a really uh, obscure band, and it's an obscure song um, from something that probably nobody listens to, but I'm not very good, and I have a terrible voice, and I can barely play the chords, but I, I still like it, and I've actually been playing for years. I don't play every day, but I've been playing for a long time. You would think, you would think that, I would be, that I would be better. There are people who can, who can pick up a guitar and, and they can just learn because they, they have talent. I used to know this guy who he didn't even play guitar and he came over one day, picked up my guitar and just started strumming like just ridiculous talent. Same thing with mathematics. There's, there's people and, I, and I'm sure you've seen them in your classes who they just do incredibly well and it seems like they don't study. The one thing I will say about mathematics is that everyone gets to a point where it's game over. It doesn't matter how much talent you have, you have to work really hard. And I think that point really starts at proof writing. Proof writing does require more work, I think, than computational math. I mean, there's a lot of people that can whiz through calculus and, you know, do the homework a couple nights before it's due and somehow get A's. But, you know, everyone gets to a point where it gets a little bit harder. Usually that point is proof writing. 
And in some rare cases, very rare cases, I would say that's, that point is graduate school, but most people who are math majors and who actually get a math degree and get good grades, they have to work extremely hard. It's, it's not easy to get uh, a math degree. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort. It doesn't matter how much talent you have, you're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to really, really work hard. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to talk about that because I think that a lot of people think that they shouldn't pursue things they're not talented at. And I, and I think that's false. I think you should pursue things that, that you enjoy. Uh, I, re, I interviewed uh, a mathematician. Uh, it's been a couple of years now. His name was Paul Garrity. He wrote a fantastic book. It's called All the Math You Miss But Need to Know for Graduate School. And if I remember, I'll link it in the description because if you buy the book, it'll help him, right? And, and I like this guy. I think he's a great mathematician and a great person. So I, I bought his book. And he said that he does mathematics because it brings him joy. That's what he said in the interview. It, bring, it brings me joy. And he said it several times. I thought, oh, what a cool thing. And people commented on the video and how, you know, how great that was. Just a genuinely good person, a great mathematician. And I think he's right. I think you should do things because they bring you joy. So if, if mathematics makes you happy and, and you like mathematics, you should do it, even if you feel you're not very good at it. And eventually you'll become okay. Like I can actually play some of the chords on the guitar. I can play the C chord, kind of, the D, the A, and the G, the E, just a couple easy chords. The bar chords are still hard, even after years, it's, you know, I don't have the skills. I need to, I need to work on it some more. I need to take my own advice and play more guitar. So I think you should do things you enjoy, and just because you're not talented now, doesn't mean you might not get immensely better later. You might make an incredible jump and all of a sudden get better. I've seen it happen with mathematics. I had a, a student once who was in my Cal 2 class. And I remember what he looked like. I remember his face. He had really cool hair, he had a mustache. But I don't remember his name. And he barely passed. I mean, barely, like barely, like barely. We're talking like just barely. And I was thinking, ah, I rounded up. It was like, it was like, it was very close to a C and it was just like, like a fraction of, of a point. So I'm like, all right, C, you know, I'm not gonna like round down, no, no, you know, you fail, no, no, no. So. He passed and I was like, this guy's not gonna make it. It's just, he's not gonna make it. And then he took uh, some other classes. Then he took me later for another class and he did great with another teacher and with me later on. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. So what happened to him? How did he become so much better after barely making it through my class and then coming back later? So something changed, right? Something, something happened, something in his life. So maybe, you know, he did have talent. It just took him a while to find it. So yeah, kind of a random rant video. But the point is, the point is, sometimes you don't have talent. And just because you don't have talent doesn't mean you shouldn't pursue things. That's why I started the video with my horrible singing guitar. Just to prove to you that just because you don't have talent doesn't mean you shouldn't do it, right? Do things you enjoy, whether it be playing guitar, doing math, physics, whatever it is. Oh, if you wanna learn mathematics, just shameless plug, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. The courses are actually on the Udemy website, so it's reputable and stuff, but please use the links from my website, um, otherwise Udemy takes like almost all of it. Also, I lowered the price to as low as I could, so I'm pretty sure you'll get a low price if you go through my website, but yeah. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today, and yeah, do what you love, right? It's cliche and it's whatever, but I mean, why not? Good luck, take care, keep doing mathematics.